Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome to Boundless. Welcome back to another episode of Boundless. I thought today that I would do another tutorial, and this is just something that I started doing um, recently, and I'm just kind of slowly learning things. So as I learn things, I want to come back and teach someone else. This is how I can pay it forward. So today, I think I'm going to show you guys like basic crafting. And I mean, when I mean basic, um, it's like the easy stuff. So. Um, let me show you what I've been doing and you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about better. Right now I am on my crafting tune. Her name is Dark Shade and I've been playing around with light lately and I am not going to take credit for any of this. I learned this by watching other people and I actually got this idea from Digby Caesar and Lancelot's as well as watching other streamers um, who play Boundless. So this is lighting. Well, this is Gleam um, chiseled down into this form, and this is called a stone pole. So I'm going to show you how to make this stone pole, as well as show you how to chisel out this uh, piece of Gleam, such as this. Now, the first things first, you need to make sure that your character is specced um, appropriately. Now I'm going to bring up my skills. Do not judge me. I am still learning. Okay. Um, it's probably not what it needs to be, but again, this is a learning process for us both. Okay. So basically what dark shade is specced into right now is forging, which, okay. Um, that I don't know anything about forging yet and I probably don't need to do that for her. Well, no, she makes tools. So she's my tool crafter. Um, she's also my decoration crafter. She's my crafter and she's working on machines. But right now um, I have her specced as well into chiseling epic um, and my crafting epic, which basically allows me to um, do things in mass production. So chiseling epic is what you need, are going to need for this particular project here. Uh, there's a spitter dying in one of my little pools of water. Too bad, so sad. So let's start off with the basic things that we need for this little project here. While we're at it, I'm gonna show you the basics of workbenches and crafting tables. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? So in order to make that pool, we need um, some metamorphic rock. I've already got some here that's been, or metamorphic stone. I've already got some here um, in, in my inventory, but ooh, I think I've already got this made. So mm, I'm not gonna be able to really show you. Well, I guess I could show you really quick cause I'm just gonna turn this here, this oxide gray into metamorphic. Um, right now it's in rock form, so I'm going to turn it into stone. So I've got my, don't, don't judge my workshop. It's a work in progress. It really is. But I've got these work, uh, these crafting tables all lined up. And this is a great way to, to craft, um, in a very, uh, or to craft. Well, first of all, to cut back on crafting time, cut down on crafting time, as well as level fairly quickly. So you can do things, uh, several things at once. So right now we have three recipes available to us and I have the metamorphic uh, rock in my inventory and I'm going to go ahead because I have mass production. I'm going to click on this tab and I'm going to craft several of these um at a time okay so now we've got these queued up uh the metamorphic rock will be turned into metamorphic stone once that step is done you can now start to refine the rock into something smoother or um you can create other um other items like we're going to do with the stone um pole so the stone pole requires um a some metamorphic stone of course, in any color that you're looking for and glue. And I have plenty of glue over here, I believe. Yeah, I've got some glue here and I want to make sure I have the right. Yeah, pale lilac. OK, so very easy. We're going to run over to Veruca's house. Um, Veruca's look, I can't even work the door. I'm trying to teach you guys how to do a um, or teach you guys how to do a um, 
a couple things and I can't even open the door. Okay, so I'm gonna run over to the Veruca's workshop and I will see you guys in just a moment. So here we are in Veruca's workshop. We've been here before, we know what it's all about. Um, and I believe it is the workbench that we need. No, ma'am, we need the refinery. So I'm lying, we were gonna learn about the workbench, but today we're going to go back into the refinery. Um, so we're going to refine, you could either refine your stone. Let me go back because I think I told you guys wrong and I just wanna make sure that I correct myself. When you want to refine your stone, you wanna smooth it out, this is where you're going to go, the refinery. You can um, refine gems, um, you can refine metals, stone, what have you, gleam. I do have gleam that I want to refine and make it smooth. Uh, you can create decorative gleam, glass. We've used this before. I've showed you guys what the refinery is all about. But in order to use the refinery, sometimes you have to do make do one step prior. So the prerequisite step we need for to use the refinery in this case was to um, use the crafting table to um, break the, the rock down into stone. That's the only way that I can really explain it to you. I'm sure there's a better way, but I'm me. So <laughs> there it is. Okay, so I think this is where we need to be. Let's just make sure, because I could be wrong, but instead of scrolling through, I just can type in bean, not bean. Um, actually, it's a pole. What am I doing? Okay, so yes, we're here. This is the, the plain stone. We can make a plain stone pole, or we can make a stylish pole. I'm going to go for the stylish pole. Um, I need a couple of these. I don't need a mass amount, so I'm just gonna create it in bulk. Um, how many is that? That's 10. 10 is perfect. It's going to take about 13 minutes to finish up. So while we're doing that, while we're waiting for that, um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a brief explanation on um, what the crafting table is and um, basically what how you can use it to level up. So that was very easy. Like I said, all you needed was the stone color that you wanted, some glue, and you throw, of course, uh, yes, you want to turn that rock into stone. And then of course your, um, I always get this mixed up. Yes, turn rock into stone, your glue, and you throw it into the refinery and Bob's your uncle. You've got a, um, a beam. Okay, listen or a pole, not a beam. Okay. She is not my she's not my my shooter, but she does need to keep herself protected. So we're going to run back over here really quick back to the uh, my little workshop. I will show you again how a quick trick on how to level up and then I'm going to show you how to make this. Now this one is still a work in progress. I stopped in the middle thinking that you know what I should be making a tutorial so that's why that looks like that um, but I will show you like the basics of chiseling and in order for this to work you have to have the chiseling epic. So we're back over here and this is like I said these are several workbenches um, that I um, built and installed into my workshop. Some people have more. You probably you could put more in here. Um, it's certainly up to you, but if you want to level fast, this is a great way to do so. Basically, what people do is farm a bunch of rock. If you want to farm it, you want to build it or farm it. If you want to buy it, you can do that. I have a lot of rock here. Um, here's some igneous rock. We can just grab this. this is stuff that's right here on Tana. Um, and basically you take several piles of rock or several, several stacks, but we're not going to do that today. But this is what we do. We've already got these queued up, right? Um, and the best way to do this is to have a tune that's already you don't have to do it this way but um like i told you before my tune is specced into volume crafting so i can use the bulk mat or the mass crafting rather than um because what you have oops let me take this out um so you have under well this is igneous stone so under igneous stone you have the single where you can just craft a single piece you have a bulk where you can craft um, I can't remember how many pieces that you can craft, or 10. So single, oh, single, I'm sorry, crafts two 
bulk crafts 10 at a time and mass crafts 50 at a time. Since I have the volume epic, I can craft 50 pieces at a time of, well, of this igneous stone or even metamorphic stone, right? So I'm just gonna do that. Now you can craft up to 30 or you can queue up to 30. So I'm gonna do that really quick, boom, 30. And then I can move over to the next table and do the same thing. So then you've got like all these different, all the tables crafting all at once. And, and I would have like um, 18 here. So um, while those are working and once the, once the process completes, that's XP that you're gaining. That's a really quick way um, in leveling your low level tune. I don't know how it, that works as you get higher level. I assume the higher level you get, the more rock you'll need. Um, to craft um but i don't think that at that point it's even um that it would just be consume more time so time is of the essence do this at a low level and then once you gotten higher level i'm sure there's other ways that you can earn xp i've seen him do it on streams i'm not there yet but once i am maybe i can give you that uh little tutorial but by that time you may be the expert and i'm just behind you so anyways so that's a quick way to use your crafting table but um, you can see that you can do basic things in the crafting table. You can make stone tools, wood tools. This is something that you'll learn at the very beginning of your journey into Boundless. Um, you can make wood look a little better, uh, which I use the lustrous wood timber a lot in some in like help decorating um, my area, but a lot of people use this to build with. Um, you, like I said, you can break down raw stone, make it into rock. You can create sticks. You've got your campfire, beacon control, basic fuel. You can make more crafting tables, things like that. So the list goes on and on with your crafting table. There's not a ton here, um, but there's quite a few things that you can start off with if you're looking into crafting on your tune. Now I have, this is my alt. She isn't, she doesn't go anywhere except crafting or do anything except crafting i don't take her off the plane unless she's going to the mall um i don't do not go exploring with her anything like that she would not be able to survive but maybe one day i will i'm not sure we'll see but that's the basic part of the crafting table i hope i didn't go too fast for you let me know in the comments below if i'm going too fast if i need to slow down or explain things a little bit better but i think the crafting table is pretty easy to figure out um yeah but just my tip is to try to make as many as you possibly can. It is a very cheap item to make. Use the trees around you and boom, you can make several of these. And, you know, specifically if you want a color, of course, you need to find wood or temp that is the color that you want. Um, I'm thinking I might switch over to a, a night azure because that happens to be one of my favorite colors in the game. Um, actually, this is like one of my favorite colors in real life. It's gorgeous. All right. That being said, um, so yeah, crafting tables, workbenches, we were working with the refinery. So let's go and um, check out some chiseling. Now I do have, I've got a beam on me, cool. So I'm gonna show you this um, in, let me see if I can grab all the things that I need. Let's see, I got this and this. Okay, so where do we need some lights? Let's try, Mm, let's try right here because it's fairly dark here so it's kind of dark um, but we're gonna throw pop this beam or this pole down I keep calling it the beam and then right on top we're gonna lay our piece of glean of course we don't want to leave it like that because it looks weird now I told you that I have my epic let me just keep this piece of gleam in my hand because it's pretty dark out I have epic chiseling on this tune so it will not work without it in my hand right now, I have a titanium precise square chisel with a lattice glow, lattice buff. Um, and I think this has to do with forging. Um, I think it is a forging thing. I have not played around with forging yet, you guys. So again, if you're an expert, you've played this game, let me know. Um, but I believe forging creates the lattice because I think, um, yes, I do know for sure. I have picked up just a regular titanium precise square chisel and all it did was make squares this however makes this shape the lattice okay so in order to get that little diamond shape i want to get the lattice um the titanium precision square chisel with lattice on it and then i want to switch over to whoops wrong hand i want to switch over to the gold precise bevel chisel 
Um, precise is key. And of course you need epic. Now what I'm going to do is to get the diamond shape, I'm just gonna do that right in the middle. So now you can see that the green is kind of diamond shape here. And then I'm just going to get rid of these sides. So I'm going to hit it again, get rid of this side here, hit it again and get rid of this side there. And then I've got a cross, I'm gonna take that off, take that off. Now I just wanna take the top layer off like that and I've got a pointed look, very easy. Now if I wanted to go with a diamond, let me just show you this. I learned this trick too, thank you Digby. Um, if you wanted a floating diamond, um, I think it's the coolest thing. It's the coolest effect, and I might do that here in the water. But basically, you, again, go with your lattice chisel. Um, and these are basic chisels, you guys. This is nothing, like, profound. I still don't know a lot about chiseling, but this is what I've learned, so you're going to learn, too. Um, again, you take your precise bevel chisel and do the same thing like I showed you over here. We're going to knock off these, these sides here and it's gonna leave you with this piece here. So now we want the diamond, um, the diamond. Now we could, we want a floating diamond. Now I don't know if you have to do this, but instead of hitting the top piece like I did here, I just hit the bottom piece off. Like that and like that. Boom. So now we've got a floating diamond. Now if you want it a little bit higher, basically I just stack um, this gleam here. I'm gonna just use her. Uh, her little totem. I don't have a hammer on her, which I probably should have. And then you can do it. Oh, look at this. I did something. I just lost connection, ignored that. Um, so then we can do it the same. Oops. Look, I have a chisel, like an un chisel, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get it. I'm not. We're just going to start over. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get it. So I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but anyways, we're going to do that. Um, and so let's see, we, we're here. Okay. We're right here. Boom. Take this one off. Boom. Take this side off. Take that side off. Boom. And boom. So now you've got a diamond that's floating. Of course you can get rid of this here. Now, if you make a mistake and want to start over, instead of having to, um, just, you know, use your totem or your hammer, you could, there's called, there's a chisel called the unchisel and you just hit your block, like block with it once and it'll go back to its original form. But that's how you make diamonds. Isn't that cool? I love it. I think it's the coolest thing and it gives off the same amount of light as, as if it were a whole piece of gleam. But that's how I'm going to light up the areas around here because it's very dark walking around here and I think it has a really cool effect and um, it just looks pretty. So that's all you guys. So these, I have more of these cooking. Um, but that's all I really wanted to show you. Um, again, we're playing with light and we've started into the basic parts of ch uh, chisels. As I learn, I will definitely show you, but look how this is lit up over here. Now, let me finish this one. <laughs> let me go ahead and finish this one here. Boom. Okay. So yeah, that's it. That is all. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, do the same because I'm still new, I'm still learning. Um, and if you are an expert, please by all means, oh, we missed a spot right here. Um, by all means, I would love to get some more tips from you um, so I can teach someone else. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I had fun actually creating it. And until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. She is Dark Shade. This is Boundless. Ciao.